Hi there, I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist, and this is Soranitholestes, a little theropod that lived in North America, including way up north in the Arctic. How did such a small dinosaur survive the cold weather? Well, some paleontologists, like me, think that Soranitholestes and its relatives were warm-blooded. Warm-blooded animals, like birds and mammals, have to eat plenty of food to stay warm and to stay active. But one of the great things about being warm-blooded is that you can be active not just during the day, but at night as well. Most animals, like fish, reptiles, and insects, are cold-blooded. They depend on the sun to warm them up every day, so most of them aren't active at night. Cold-blooded animals don't have to eat that much or that often. Some, like crocodiles, can go for months without eating. But you and I, and all humans, have to eat more often because we are warm-blooded. Here are some warm-blooded animals alive today that live in a very cold place. Penguins. They stay warm by eating a lot of fish. And like Soranitholestes, penguins are covered with feathers, which helps them hold on to their body heat. This little bird. When I'm in really cold weather, I wish I had a covering of feathers. Okay, keep watching for more dinosaur discoveries.